Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a special romance reading here on the channel. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful day, whether you were with somebody special or you were just with yourself, who is equally special. I hope you had a beautiful, wonderful day filled with love. I hope you have every day filled with love. Okay, there's a lot going on between counterparts. Um, Spirit, we are not talking about that today. We're going to be doing a romance reading and a little check-in, but stay tuned to the channel um, because we're going to talk about Ascension. We're going to talk about sacred partners and everything that is going on between them. There has been a major shift. I did uh, share a little bit of this on Instagram and on Facebook, so make sure that you're following me on those platforms about what this shift meant. Um, it feels like it was on the heels of a tower moment for both counterparts. Um, that is creating a deepening of your connection. And we have been channeling that last week in the dailies and in the Sacred Union Energy updates for the past several weeks. We've been talking about embodiment and anchoring in for the past several months. And it's pretty amazing and mind-blowing because that is happening here and now. Everything that we have channeled over these past three years on this channel is coming to fruition here and now. And my heart is just filled with so much love and so much joy and so much magic. And I'm feeling this shift. I hope that you're feeling this shift too. I am seeing that with my divine partner. Yesterday we spent a beautiful day together. I released any expectations. I set the intention of just having a beautiful day. I was going to do a lot of self-love stuff. But we ended up spending the day together and he blew me away with a lot of sweet gestures, romantic gestures. Um that had not been really part of our, our partnership to this level before. Um, there is a huge shift happening in the masculine embodiment. There's a huge shift happening within the inner masculine inside of divine feminines so that it just feels like wholeness. Union is here. And a message that we have been imparting for the past several weeks too, past several months, is that union was never anywhere else. It's always been a part of you. You're just been clearing the blocks of separation, the, the veil of separation being lifted, the illusion of separation being lifted. But what is the opposite of separation but union? And that's what this all is. It's all about coming into that wholeness, coming into union for yourself, recognizing that you're not separate from source, that you're not separate from your counterpart. And as that takes place, you recognize that union has always been within. It's always been here. So keep affirming that. We've been saying, you know, affirm that you're in union. Um, it is a process. It is a process, but the process not is not coming into union. The process is releasing that separation energy, releasing that illusion. That's what the process is. Um, what we had channeled was um, while you are clearing the blocks to love, you are simultaneously aligning to love, and that's exactly what union is, and it just feels so expansive, and it just this, this wholeness between you two. Um, the connection, it's almost like, it's like, I don't know how else to put it, like a key fitting in the lock, and it, that key feels like home. And it's because you found that home within yourself, because you found that home with source, because you feel it. It's just, no matter what is happening, that faith is unshakable. That knowing is unshakable. That love that you have within yourself is unshakable. Your connection is unshakable. And you are just on this journey, clearing all of those blocks to it. And the journey is not over. The journey is continuing to unfold and evolve. You're just moving into the next level of your ascension journey, which is taking this energy that you're moving into now, that we're feeling now, and it's just expanding. It is just growing. The more you know yourself and you're doing this with your sacred partner. So, Spirit, I said we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> we're going to do a romance reading, a quick check-in on what is going on between these counterparts. Um, we're going to pull it down to the 3D a little bit and see what's happening in your connection. Like I said, we're going to focus on how you're feeling about each other, how you're feeling about the connection, and what action wants to be taken. So, we're going to get a union energy first, and we'll be back and dive much deeper, as you guys know we do, in the Sacred Union Energy Update. I'm also going to have some channeled messages, um, a, a channeled message reading or, or video um, later this week. Um, so I'm going to dive even deeper. I'm going to share my personal experiences with this um, with this energy in that, in that video. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Okay. 
All right, uh, Spirit, what's happening with these sacred partners? Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, what's happening with these sacred partners? Two of Pentacles and the Lovers. This immediately feels like balancing out. This immediately feels like the Two of Pentacles actually feels like the Two of Cups here. But it feels um, like a very grounded energy. It's that loving connection because it's paired with the lovers, but it feels like it's very grounded, like it's it's balancing out in the physical plane now. So the lover says, this partnership is being divinely supported. Trust your heart to lead you on the path to union as you deepen your connection and choose each other in sacred love. And then the two of pentacles, you or your partner might be neglecting your relationship in favor of other priorities. Focus on the undercurrent of love between you to rebalance the connection. And I feel like that's what's happening. It's that undercurrent of love that is just igniting. Almost like it's becoming a flood of love between you two. Um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fiery energy between you two. Um, it's just that, that love being ignited on a deeper level. A layer is being unearthed of this connection. And we again, we've been channeling this for the past several weeks. So if you have missed any of the readings, if you've missed any of the dailies, um, all of my readings, although they might be timeless, the energy builds on one another. So I really encourage you guys to, to catch everything as, as much as you can if this is resonating with you. Um, so this really feels like a balancing out of your connection. There might have been neglect in the past. There might have been um, focusing on other things in the past. But that's what I feel has shifted here in this energy. This really feels like focused on each other. Again, this feels like two of cups energy and paired with the lovers. This is union. This is that wholeness. This is that sacred connection coming into the physical plane. Being, um, okay, so they want me to clarify that. It's being visible in the physical plane. You're now going to be able to see you felt it energetically, and now you're going to be able to see it and experience it in your physical human experience. Okay. Um, I'm going to get, let's get these. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, this feels good. Okay. What's the current energy for the Divine Masculine when it comes to this connection? What's the current energy for the Divine Masculine? current energy for the divine masculine thank you okay wow oh my god you guys when i say it is happening it is happening if you've been on the channel with me for a while you know that the energy over the years has been back and forth um, there has always been that undercurrent of love between you two, but there's been a lot of blocks. There's been a lot of healing. There's been a lot of clearing that has been happening. The past several months, and they keep drawing me back to the summer, June, July of 2020 is when a massive shift happened within this connection um, for this collective. And over the past several months, these past six months, Divine Masculine has completely transformed this is that transformation. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. They are so fully feeling the love within this connection. There is no blocks here. There, it just feels like there's no blocks. They are focused on this connection, this tower moment, whatever it was that they experienced. Again, go ahead and check out the channel messages on Instagram and Facebook. Um, whatever it was that they experienced, it was a push from the universe because they had been on the precipice. They had been kind of wanting to go forward, wanting to transform their lives because they felt that change within themselves. They saw what life would be like if they were embodying their highest version of themselves, if they were embodying love, if they let go of the past version of themselves. They had seen that. They had that clarity. But they were still holding on a little bit. They were still repeating some patterns. The universe, very recently, as recent as this past weekend, pushed them through a tarot moment to see this is how much you have transformed from that old energy and you can't stay stuck in that old energy anymore. You have to keep evolving. You have to keep growing. And Divine Mashlin said, I know. I know and that is what I want because I feel better when I'm in that energy of love. And when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, they feel better when they're open to you, when they're open to this love. You are this happiness for them. Look at that beautiful couple there. You are this happiness for them. You give them so much strength with that solar plexus energy. 
So they are focused on this connection now. Now, both of you had to release the old template of relationships where you were so focused on each other that you neglected yourselves. That's not this. That's not divine love. That is attachment. But through this journey, through this process, you released that attachment because you knew how to love yourself. You knew what you deserve. You knew how to stand up for yourself. You knew how to express yourself because you are in the divine embodiment of your own sacred energy, of your own sacred soul self. And your partner is rising up into their divine essence. You guys are meeting in a whole conscious beautiful sacred partnership and your divine masculine is working on this putting in the effort now because they see very clearly what they want for their life and it's not just you guys you have to understand this when I am talking about you divine feminine and when I'm talking about this connection yes it's the physical relationship as far as what do they want they want marriage they want commitment they want family whatever it is um, they want relationship but it's so much more than that because this is a sacred soul connection. They feel the depth of that. So it's much more than that surface layer stuff. That's just the, the, that's just the expression in your human experience. That's just how you express your love through relationship, through commitment, through marriage or family. That's just what you decide you want to experience in your human life. But this connection is about soul connection and recognition and depth and that is what they're feeling they want that spiritual acknowledgement they want that spiritual partnership they want that spiritual connection that's what this divine love is it, it reflects in physical experience and human experience you know all the all the dating and the 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 love exchanges and the intimacy but Remember, first and foremost, it's an energy. And you felt that same longing. Yes, you want marriage. Yes, you want commitment. Yes, you want family or whatever it is that, that you're looking for to share with a partner. But what your soul is really longing for is that connection. You're, you're wanting to connect to the universe. You're wanting to connect soul to soul, heart to heart. That is what Divine Masculine is recognizing in you. Okay, so, so I want to make that clear. It's all part of the same whole. It's all part of the same energy. But the physical relationship is a reflection of the depth of love and the energy of that soul bond that you carry. So I want to make that really, really clear. It's not just, it's almost like the relationship and marriage and family and whatever it is, it's almost like that superficial in comparison to the feeling, to the soul connection. So it's really important to understand that that's just the reflection, the experience of the emotion and the love and the divine essence that you hold within with your sacred partner. Okay, let's get this deck. Um, no. Let's get this deck. Divine Feminine, how is she feeling towards Divine Masculine and this connection? How is Divine Feminine feeling towards Divine Masculine and this connection? How is Divine Feminine feeling towards Divine Masculine and this connection? Okay, they just reminded me. The bottom of the deck here... Oh my gosh, okay. This is interesting. Okay. Oh God. The bottom of the deck for the Divine Mashlin, we have the King of Swords. I'm going to pull it out. Let's do this. We have the King of Swords. Interestingly enough, the bottom of the deck for the Divine Feminine, we have the King of Cups. Um, oh no, this is the Knight of Cups. Uh, well, it feels like King of Cups. Um, this King of Swords is somebody who is able to express themselves, able to communicate. This is a very mature energy that's coming in, and that's what I feel, especially with that owl there. They're listening to their own in internal wisdom. They're not listening to their ego mind anymore. That's what they were in fear over. That's what was holding them back. And now they're really learning how to listen to their intuition, to listen to their inner guidance and wisdom, and that's what's pushing them 
to express themselves. Again, like we had channeled previously, the feminine energy within them is rising and becoming balanced. And that feminine energy is expressive, is able to communicate, is able to be clear, is even able to receive love. That's this beautiful king of swords energy. I'm going to get to this in a minute. We have the emperor, we have the three of wands, and we have the star. Oh my gosh. You feel that divine masculine energy. And that's what this feels like. Sometimes the emperor can be in a little bit of a distorted energy, but this feels so balanced, so authoritative, so strong. And I feel like you're really feeling that divine masculine energy. Now, as we have channeled in those messages, this experience, whatever tower that you experienced over the weekend, this, this shift in energy, um help to balance out the masculine energy within you divine feminine so divine masculine was going through a major shift possibly even externally to push them uh, into their divine masculine essence you were feeling that as well you were feeling your divine masculine you were feeling that masculine energy coming into balance and especially with that root chakra this is really anchoring that in anchoring in that divine essence i'm also hearing anchoring in that union and so you know that your wishes are coming true you know look how close that ship is you know that your ship is coming in you know your manifestations are here you know that your divine masculine is here with the knight of cups here you might have even experienced that that romance over the weekend that that romantic gesture that effort that your divine masculine is putting in you might have actually seen this more affection, more communication, or you might have felt this energetically with, uh, I'm hearing an overwhelming feeling of love, like you might have felt a wave of love wash over you, that was your divine masculine expressing love to you energetically, so, and, and communicating to you energetically with that love, with that sense of maturity, because they were following their heart and listening to their inner wisdom. So with the wands and the, the star here and the emperor, you're really, it just feels like this is union energy. I don't know how else to explain it. And your wishes are coming in on that ship. Like it's all here. It is all happening. And I know, especially for divine feminines, we had been in a place of going back and forth, a lack of faith. And I feel like that's what this massive shift is. It just completely anchored you into feeling connected to your masculine connected to source it's unwavering your faith is now unwavering you're anchored fully into the template of love holy cow okay um we're gonna make this a short and sweet one so we're gonna get some romance angels how are you guys feeling towards each other and then we'll be back with a more in-depth reading later this week i just i had intended to do a romance reading for you guys for valentine's day and i didn't get a chance to You know what's so interesting about this? You know how I, when I originally picked it up, I said it was a king? He's feeling like a king. Divine masculine is feeling like a king, wanting to express that emotion like a king. That's really beautiful. Um, the, the knight is really um, somebody who is sentimental, someone who is romantic, um, coming forward with that romantic offer, that romantic gesture. Um, so it, it is appropriate that it's the knight, but this energy is that of a king. Very stable, very mature, very balanced in their emotions. Um, and I just, the star, I mean, that is everything you have been manifesting and they're pulling me to this energy for a final message the three of cups is my union card as you guys know because it's the two of cups pouring into the third the third being that source energy it's that trinity energy um because what happens when you mix water and water and water it completely merges there's no separation there and that's what we've been healing and clearing the illusion of separation that's what union is it's recognizing that there is no separation feeling that complete connectedness that wholeness that love energy that's what this feels like this woman here feels like the divine feels like just angelic support feels like um like spirit and spirit has been supporting you and protecting you and these unions and your counterpart on this ascension journey. Your union is so powerful that it has been so divinely protected. Now look at the energy coming from these jugs, this water 
that is pouring in to this lake. This lake is that union energy. And what's interesting about this is the more you and your counterpart come together and, and merge your energies, merge your love, expand your love, that's this really explosive energy that has been coming through. Spirit gave it to me as like this big, big bang energy. Um, it's never ending. It's so expansive. It can't be contained in a cup. That's unity energy. It just expands and ripples out to affect the entire world. That's what this is. It's so all-encompassing, your love. And that love just grows and grows and grows to affect, positively affect, raise the vibrations, change the paradigm of the entire collective. That's what this feels like. Merging with each other, merging with source, feeling the connectedness and the power of all. So uh, that was a final message there. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I'm having, you guys, I'm having a lot of trouble articulating this energy because it is so strong. I've also been called to rest a lot today because there were massive light codes coming in with this with this energy shift this weekend. So do rest as you're called to rest. Um, and I do feel like it might take some time to really articulate and understand just the magnitude of everything that we're experiencing now. So compassion, patience for yourself, kindness to yourself, take care of yourselves. All right. How is Divine Masculine feeling towards Divine Feminine right now? How's Divine Masculine feeling towards Divine Feminine right now? Oh, okay. Express your love. Yeah, that's that communication energy and reconciliation. Look at this. So whether you're with your counterpart or not, if you're in perceived separation, if you have not been in communication, um, there's reunion energy that is here. You will be reconciling. You are reconciling already. Remember, you're already in union energetically. You'll start to see that in your physical experience. Um, but this is this is union energy um, because they're just pointing me to the image here. Look at how they're holding each other. Look at how they're embracing each other. For a long time, oh, there it is. See, look, this is what they called me to. This is my favorite card in all of tarot. It's the Gilded Tarot. And in, in all the decks and all the cards I have, this is my actual, absolute favorite depiction of anything. <laughs> it's the lovers. And a long time ago, they had pulled this out for me, and they said, look at the power within that card. This is union. This is what it means. This is the divine masculine and divine feminine energies in complete connection, in, in union, in that complete merging. How do we describe union? It's almost indescribable. It's wholeness, wholeness within the self, feeling fully connected and merge with your divine counterpart. It's it's so much deeper than love. It's so much deeper than relationship. It's even so much deeper than connection, feeling connected, because we feel connected to everybody. And union, they're saying, yes, union is part of that, feeling that unity consciousness. But it's so much deeper and so much more expansive within. Um, this is the, the best depiction. It is the masculine fully supporting and lifting the divine feminine. And the divine feminine embracing the energy, bringing that down to the divine masculine to support each other. It's so incredibly powerful. And I'm, I'm struggling because, again, how do, you, how do you describe something so powerful? You know, poets and writers and artists have tried to capture the essence of love and the depth of love for centuries and now we're in this new template of love and how do you describe this and I'm hearing you don't but you feel it and and I hope you feel this this shift that is happening and and this shift is happening has happened and will be happening within this collective this is what it's all about and everything that we've been channeling is happening right here and right now when we were almost ready to give up when we didn't believe it was possible it is here it is very, very real. And it's because we didn't stop. And it's because, I'm going to cry, it's because we didn't stop. It's because we kept having faith. It's because we kept doing the work on ourselves. It's because we kept going deep and facing the darkest sides of ourselves, both masculine and feminine, 
both doing this work, both doing putting forth the effort. Even when Divine Feminine, you couldn't see your masculine doing this work, they were. And even Divine Masculine, when you didn't fully understand what your Divine Feminine was doing, they were doing the work. And it's because you have faced the darkness and the deepest aspects of yourself to heal and to clear, you're rising into more and more love. That is so powerful. That is this energy here. This is exactly this. This complete merging, this complete embrace, this complete just oneness. And it's not just ethereal, although it is anchored in, in energy. It's anchored in the higher realms. What you're doing now is you're bringing this into the physical realm. Divine Mashlin, ready to express themselves, ready to really feel the full fledge of this love. They're not holding back or guarding their heart anymore. They're ready to feel this expansiveness, this expansiveness of love. Wow, okay. I did not expect this reading to go this deep. <laughs> this is, I wanted to avoid that, but this is so powerful. It's almost like I, I can't help it. Like, And I just, you know, let spirit come in with whatever they want to come in with. And they're saying, like, there's just this overwhelming feeling from spirit of, of success, of this is what it's for. Do you see now? Do you see that this is what it's for? This is why we didn't want you to give up. This is why we kept working with you. Okay, we have retreat for the Divine Feminine, how she's feeling towards the Divine Masculine. Let's get one more card. How is she feeling towards the Divine Masculine? Okay, uh, I'm getting called to the signs. Um, and that's in one of the dailies this week. Um, they're reminding me the signs. Pay attention to the signs because there is new growth that's happening here. So this retreat energy feels like both of you retreating together. Again, energetically or otherwise, um, but working together, moving on to the new path together, together. Um, so it's almost like pay attention to the signs, pay attention to what spirit is bringing you, how that path is continuing to unfold. That's what I'm getting here. Um, I'm hearing there's nothing blocking your way anymore. So be open, be open to how the path unfolds together. Release expectations of everything anybody told you about union, anything you expected union to be anything you expected um this divine partnership to be or this ascension journey to be or this experience to be let that go just anchor into faith anchor into love anchor into this connection because it's unfolding it is unfolding now and you and your counterpart are walking this path together now so Listen to the signs. Pay attention to the signs. The universe is speaking to you. I'm just being guided to this image of um, the spirit that's just bringing over this like flower. Like I feel like the universe is bringing gifts to you. Are you allowing those gifts to come in? And when I say gifts, it's 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 gifts with regards to your connection, gifts with regards to your divine masculine. Are you appreciating the moments? Are you appreciating the here and now? Are you present? That is going to change everything for you. Okay. What action does Divine Masculine want to take? What action does Divine Masculine want to take? Okay. Heartbroken. Um, Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. This feels like they want to clear out this energy. Again, to express this love and reconcile. So if there was any heartbreak that they were feeling, they're wanting to clear out this energy for your connection. Um, I'm almost hearing like anywhere where they recognize that they had hurt you or they had hurt this connection or that they made you feel separate from this connection. They're recognizing that now because they're feeling the depth of this connection. They're wanting to clear out that energy once and for all to come forward into this, this, this new path. Again, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. This, this energy is just overwhelming love, wanting to reconcile, wanting to express themselves, wanting to move forward on this path. Let's get one more for Divine Masculine. And Twin Flames, wanting to unite. And look at that yin-yang energy. That is this. That's this. And, and it's almost like that picture is reminding me of the yin-yang, but with the sacred heart around it. That's the protection 
that you have. That's the support that you have. That's the love that you have. That's that, um, that's this union in higher consciousness, this twin flame energy. Divine feminine, what action do you want to take towards your divine masculine? Photograph. This came out a couple of days ago, I believe. Um, wanting to make new memories, wanting to put the past in the past. Yeah, look, make new memories. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. That's really what this is. Both of you wanting to put the past heartbreak behind you, to put your, your old version of your relationship behind you and just move forward into this reconciliation, into this union, into this wholeness. Um, we also have date on the bottom of the deck here. So this is a new level of your connection. I'm going to uh, start closing down, so let's get some messages. Uh, let's do one of these first. Let's do one of these first. I'm hearing what's to come from your connection, so we'll, we'll do that. What's to come? What's the next step to, for Divine Masculine with regards to Divine Feminine? What's to come? Next step for Divine Masculine. Life purpose. Your divine masculine is aligning to their heart. And the more they align to their heart, the more they align to you, the more they're aligning to their life purpose. And remember, it's all connected. Um, this is them leveling up in their own life. This is them having the confidence to be the best version of themselves. And that's going to include getting into alignment with mission, with service work, with their life purpose, because now they're in alignment with love. Now they're in alignment with their heart. And that life purpose might very well include you, Divine Feminines. It, it, they're, okay, they're correcting me. They're saying um, it does. <laughs> it does include their Divine Feminine because it's all one. That's how merged your energies are. It is all one. That's where you're working together in every single facet. Now, you, have your, you might have your individual interests, you might have your individual hobbies. Um, they're, they're, they're still, like you're still individuals. So in the old template, like we talked about in the beginning of the reading, you, you might have gotten lost in your relationships, in each other. This is different. This is wholeness within the self so that you become whole within this relationship, within each other. Your relationship is that, that third entity, um, that third energy, that, that trinity energy itself so but it feels like um it feels like even if you're you're doing things individually you're still doing it together so it's it's like this it's like you're part of the same garden and you're both recognizing that you're part of the same garden um divine feminine it feels like you've been tending to that garden and it almost was like divine masculine for a long time had their back to it um that's what it felt like but they were tending to their own parts of the garden. And now their part of the garden is flourishing and your part of the garden is flourishing. And all of those flowers and plants are just kind of getting entwined together beautifully um, so that it's just one beautiful garden that is blossoming. That's the best way I can determine this energy. So, so different parts of the garden, but it's all blossoming together beautifully because of the work that you're putting in together. So come for Divine Feminines. The Divine Feminine rising into her power. And look, look, look at the garden. <laughs> look at all that blossoming, um, the vines, the flowers, the fruit, the harvest. It's the garden. It's the garden that is blossoming. Beautiful. Okay, let's get a message from your Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Message from Masculine to Feminine, please. Message from Masculine to Feminine. Message from masculine to feminine, please. My heart is safe with you. Yeah, their heart is so fully open, recognizing this connection, recognizing this happiness, recognizing this love, and the depth. I just want to point that out. This is not shallow. This is not superficial. This is, they are feeling the depth of this love and the depth of this connection, not turning away from it anymore, wanting to open up more to you, express themselves, be intimate with you, vulnerable with you, just completely open-hearted with you because now they're feeling safe. And they've always felt safe with you, Divine Feminine. They just, and just like you've always felt safe with them, it was just all the old trauma and heartbreak and programming and patterns 
that was almost blocking that, that was keeping the truth, that was keeping the love feeling separate. But you've always felt safe with each other, and now it's starting to open up more. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine. I'm thinking about us. That's an understatement. <laughs> divine Masculine is always on Divine Feminine's mind, and vice versa. It might surprise you to hear, but Divine Feminine, you're always on Divine Masculine's mind as well. Let's get one more. Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Thank you. I've been so hurt in the past. Oh, this has such a great energy. I've been so hurt in the past, I'm hearing, but I'm not letting that stop me now. I've overcome that. They're showing me the strength card. I've overcome that. That is amazing. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Your love gives me strength. You give each other strength. Wow. Okay. This is beautiful energy. Um, it's just beautiful energy that we're in right now. Um, I will be back next week. No, we'll be back later this week with a Sacred Union Energy update and channeled messages more about this energy. We're going to talk more about this energy. And uh, stay tuned to Instagram and Facebook. Um, check out the channeled messages. I talked about this energy there. Um, we're just going to keep seeing how this grows and how this expands. It's, it's really, truly beautiful. All right, I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and I'll see you soon. Bye.